When someone closes a door in your face, all you have to remember is when God allows them to close the door in your face, all God wants you to do is walk up the hall. It's some more doors. You just got to walk up the hall because I can promise you he got a better door that he wants you to go through than the one that got shut in your face. No matter what you're doing, you could be doing more. Remember that. It's 24 hours in a day. You got to use as many of those hours to prepare stability for yourself as you can. I said it online, I got in a lot of trouble. If you sleep eight hours, you're not ever going to be rich. If you have any dreams of being rich, you cannot sleep eight hours a day. It's only 24 hours in a day. If you sleep eight hours, that's a third of your life. How can you, you cannot be asleep a third of your life and become successful. You can't. People got mad at me, they're talking about Steve Harvey prefers wealth over health. No, change is inevitable. So here's what's gonna happen. No matter what's going on in your life, it's not permanent. Everything is going to change. I mean, look, in show business, that's all the time. You could come to work one day and they just say the show is canceled. What can you do? So what I've done is I've produced so much content. I got radio, I write books, I write movies, I do TV shows, I host TV shows. I got a game show, I do a Facebook watch show. I do so many. So when they come and they cancel something, I don't really give a damn. Because I got eight more jobs. You know what I mean? I've just managed to stack. And then I'm always prepared. I prepare for what's coming. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. No one, ladies and gentlemen, could have convinced me when I started out just over six years ago working on my dream. And I want you to think about whatever your dream is. Because I was willing to take a chance, and most people won't do that. Most of the people that you talk to to try and bring them into the business, these are not risk takers. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. And here's what I will share with you. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. Your dream is possible. But not only is it important that you believe and begin to know that it's possible for you to live your dream as you run toward it, but I've done something that I want to share with you called Choosing Your Future. In fact, I've developed a set of tapes talking about how to begin to create your own reality by choosing your future. And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life, people who don't want anything. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation, that you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. That's necessary. It's also, ladies and gentlemen, necessary that you be creative when you're working on your ideas. 
that you understand the importance of, of changing up, of readjusting your strategies. Many times we can have a great idea, but if you're not advancing it in the right way and things don't happen, you become discouraged and think the idea doesn't work. No, that's not true. It's necessary that we become creative. It's necessary that you be flexible, that you are always thinking of how can I improve this better? This is a customer driven economy. It's necessary for you to always explore various ways in which you can improve the quality of service that you're providing for the people in your organization. You can't be passive and indifferent. You have to have a holy determination. It's more than just your will. It's a fire on the inside, a knowing that it's supposed to be yours. When everything says it's not going to happen, instead of getting discouraged, you kick in to a new gear. Normal people would give up. Normal people would settle, but you're not normal. You want it on another level. Many of the difficulties we face, the delays, the times it's not fair, that's simply a test. God is seeing how bad do you want it. This is what weeds people out. If you're overcome by problems, you let circumstances push you down, people talk you out of it, you're not going to have the strength or the courage to sustain where God is taking you. You have to be like David. Don't have a weak mentality, have a warrior mentality. You have to be more determined than the opposition. If you give up every time things don't go your way, you didn't want it bad enough. You have to dig your heels in and say, I am in this for the long haul. I know what God has spoken to me. I will get well. I will accomplish my dream. I will meet the right person. You're not moved by what's not working out, by how long it's taking, or by who's not for you. You know who is for you, the Most High God. And we can choose to surrender or we can choose to take a stand and fight. And there are a lot of people who fight who are still here. There are fi people who fight and who go. But at least they go out fighting. They didn't just surrender. They didn't just throw in the towel on themselves. And I'm saying that, that there is something in us. There's a power and an energy that's in us. That we owe it to ourselves to take on anything. Dis-ease in the body. Poverty opposition, whatever is between that and which we desire and, and we feel that will give us a full and rich life, we should fight for it. And you've just got to decide that my life is worth this kind of effort and fight with everything in you night and day with every breath that you have. Most people don't have that kind of fighting spirit. Most people expend more energy watching a, a, a football game or a basketball game, or some type of sporting event, than they will give to their dream. They spend more time talking about what happened on television in some soap opera, or some spectacular entertainment event, stress relieving activity, than focusing on the possibilities for their own lives. They don't get that excited about themselves and their own potential for greatness. And I'm saying that we need to begin to start focusing in on ourselves and using our energies to move us from where we are in the direction of where we want to go. Overcoming the automatic mind that our, our, our experiences, our past results have told us, our current reality, beginning to know that this is not it that we are always involved in either creating reality or buying into the reality that we see. So we begin to learn how not to judge according to appearances. As we begin to, with everything in us, tenaciously to pull down the strongholds on our minds and do maintenance work to make sure that those negative thoughts and that automatic mind doesn't creep in on us again, so we're worrying about or beginning to only focus on and see the obstacles and the limitations as opposed to the solutions of the possibilities. As we work on ourselves constantly, what we will find is that we become at one or in alignment with the universe and we are able to produce what appear to be miracles to most people, but it's only a perfect outworking of the law when we are working in harmony with the universe. And so the, the key to it is, is, is beginning to, to continue to have a whole a vision of what you want to create 
of constantly working with your feelings and your energy keeping it positive and engaging in actions and having things where the pictures, scriptures, music, friends, relationships, goals that challenge you and feed into you and create this new reality for yourself. Because as you continue to hold that in focus, as you cont continue to charge that with words and sell yourself on your having it, acting as if it already is, when you finally get that feeling, hit that level of consciousness, it will manifest.